。在纽约经文处与费城外交政策研究所合办的研讨会上，智库专家讨论到，蔡英文总统高票连任，中共的干预起到了很大的助力。Clearly, their preference was Hangul Yu and the, and the KMT, and they lost badly. Distrust of China was a motivating factor for those who voted for the DPP. 对于选后两岸局势，智库专家预期，中共过去四年对蔡政府的施压可能持续，但使用的施压手段都可能带来反效果。All three sides, that is,、uh, the Tsai Ing-wen government, the government in Beijing, and Washington, have all signaled essentially continuity with the positions they've taken. Then I think you'll just see a gradual increase in the kinds of pressure we've seen over the last four years, but nothing really radical because it won't achieve any of Beijing's ends and it will produce a backlash. 外交政策研究所亚洲计划主任戴杰分析，中共掠夺邦交国，台湾会转向加深与美国、日本和东南亚等国家的友好关系。而若中共运用经济威胁，台湾也可以以新南向政策等等手段分散经济风险。而中共一向霸道的手段，已经引起国际上各方反感。China right now is seen as being assertive, and is seen as pushing a set of behaviors and values and agendas internationally that are not in line with、uh, U.S. interests or Taiwanese interests or democratic interests. So this sense of a threatening and unaccommodating and un,、uh, sort of uncooperative China、uh, clearly drives us, and and we are seeing that kind of pushback. 新唐人记者王于赫、唐晨，纽约报道。